What's up friends in the hood? Greetings to everybody and welcome if you're new to the channel. Yes guys, and here it is guys. So that's the car I was waiting for years really. So the legend is going on guys. So this is the new 118 scale from WL Toys. It's the 1840-16. Yes. Um, it's the new brushless uh, 118 scale guys. And with the old 118 scale car guys, uh, WA Toys started uh, to end up. And then there was coming sort of, of, of metal parts and uh, upgrade parts and diffs and all the all the stuff. So uh, I'm really happy to have the car here, guys. So uh, I don't want to talk much, guys. I will show you everything. WA Toys claim the car is 75 kilometers an hour. So let's find out. So guys, and here we are now for speed run. So I didn't show you before guys, so the shocks were really totally dry, there was no oil in it. I put it in and now you see, so that's how shock should work, you see. So guys, let's first test the stock 2S LiPo speed and after that on 3S. So guys, to be honest, it's so fast and the track isn't long enough. So let's see what we did. So 67 kilometers per hour and the track isn't long enough guys. So this is the excuse. So I bet the 75 kilometers plus uh, it will get for sure, really. So it's really fast for its size guys. So. But it will drive like 10 kilometers more an hour and we saw some other uh, speed run checks on the world wide web on youtube and some other colleagues and some other youtubers the rc game guys so uh let's put on like uh like eight kilometers on top and maybe the same when we're doing this rear speed run uh, we will see guys So guys, let's check, stop recording, so 68, <laughs> that can't be guys, really, so and it doesn't feel uh, much faster to be honest, so I don't know, maybe the EC is cutting down or something like that, but um, this thing is amazing fast on 2S, no need to put it in 3S or stuff like that guys. Wow <laughs> guys. This thing is so fast, it's so tiny and so fast, amazing. So let's get it out of the box guys. So guys, what's in the package? We have the new Blue Wheel WL Toys transmitter. It's really a nice transmitter guys, so you can really drive it good with one hand. Totally like the, like the transmitter. We have uh, the throttle and do rates, we have the steering trim, we have an on off switch, we have a four mode button guys and it's really super super tiny for, for a bigger scale transmitter guys. We need four AA batteries to power it and it has a better range than the old models but even with the old models I'm uh, very very happy guys. So what's also inside guys? We have the, the manual, the charger, the Allen key tool. We have some cool stickers from Makerfire guys. So special thanks to Jack from Makerfire guys sending me this cool rig to review for all of you guys. Here guys, and here's our beauty. Looks super, super nice really. Look at these colors, Mad Max. So, uh, yeah. This should be oil filled shocks guys, but uh, we need to adjust them and I think put a little bit more oil in it so you can see 
it's not that good for oil shocks so guys let's take a look under the canopy we have a metal bottom plate guys we have a metal drive shaft we have metal gears and metal divs we have oil shock absorbers guys we have adjustable rods we have metal dog bones 35a esc with capacitor packs guys we have a strong servo a three wire servo we have a single receiver guys so that's really cool we have a 2845 brushless motor guys 3500 kv and we have an included two slide with 1500 milliampere let us compare them guys with the old cars and the 114 scale guys so guys as you can see you have a bunch of the old cars guys so this is the a959 model guys a lot of you guys should know these from our very first videos um, very loved cars so this is slightly tuned with metal parts so that everything works really perfect guys it's still the 390 brush motor guys then we have my this is my very first RC car guys uh, overall metal upgrade car uh, I made it because it looks so nice um, to drift car guys uh, I have a lot of views on this video and a lot of guys out there love this car so I took out the brushless combo for another bike guys but as you can see it's really a super super nice car and here we have so I get this from uh, from a neighbor from a from a good friend from his son I upgraded this uh, many many years ago guys so uh, these two are the same this is the a959 guys this is also the B model yeah we have uh, it's upgraded with the uh, uh, 540 brush motor guys so these were also super fast guys really this small car with a 540 motor but now I would brush this motor guys this thing is awesome really so take a look these are really nearly identical guys in the sizes and everything so we will take a look if the metal parts from the old 180 scale car will fit on this or if maybe from the newer WL ties from the 140 scale cars will fit on this yeah let's give it some bling bling after that so guys and here's the side by side comparison so look at them so for sure forgive me it's a little bit broken in the front so it looks lower but take a look on it guys to be honest the canopy and everything it looks so dope at this time it's many years ago guys so in here is the new legend so you can see guys the tires are really nearly identical instead of the design yeah so the shock towers guys take a look at them and at these so these should be really a bit smaller so i think the 140 scale parts should fit but we'll see later guys so the a cups and b cups guys these are metal so take a look so it seems that these should could fit but we will see also guys so i bet these were more than 140 scale parts guys so take a look at the shocks so here's the thing with the popping out guys and here also yeah they're also tiny and also just only clipped in yeah not like on the 140 scale cars guys so but in overall length these look a little bit longer so let's take a look underneath guys so for sure <laughs> it's the crack body guys anyway so that's really plastic guys it's not bad but that's what it looks like today guys so let's take a look to the to the a arms guys in here so it's much more it's bigger yeah so this have not the length like on the 140 scale cars so uh, seems they are only a little bit shorter but I have a set here and we will uh, take a look later guys so let's go further guys to the back 
and our wing mount. So, as you can see, guys, it looks identical, but yeah, it's much more durable and the 114 scale cars, guys. So, these were only with clips on, and these were really screwed, guys. So, let's take a look underneath, guys, underneath the canopy. So guys, as you can see, the old 540 brush motor looks a short bigger than the new 2845. And also for sure for the EC, look at this nice EC guys, and the single receiver, and the on off switch, and we have capacitor packs guys, so that's really cool to hold the peak. So yeah, look at this old, but everything, it's nearly the same size like uh, everything we have here in single guys so we also have looks like really at these old times 1500 2 as lipo guys so really the same the servo from its size from its arms looks also really nearly identical but now guys we can adjust the servo arm we have a metal steering upgrade guys as you can see here everything is plastic what's well, not bad in most cases adjustable rods guys and the same size and length like here on the old models non-adjustable also not bad but you have more option guys so in the end guys also from the b cups guys we, you can adjust more you can put it more in the angle so we're limited on the old model so you can see and we have much bigger much bigger shock towers guys so i bet these will fit from the 140 scale models and the rods from the length should fit from the old models so let's take a look guys so and one big other thing guys the OWL toys tires guys were with a smaller hex so let me show you but now a big deal to upgrade to 12 millimeter hex so i did this on all the other cars so that you can drive any stock one uh, one tenth scale wheels Whoa. so you can see guys this is what much smaller so this is 12 millimeter hex but you can upgrade those to 12 millimeter and they will fit without any problem guys let's take a look how it will look like on new one so i bet this will be 12 millimeter hex yes guys like i thought so this is 12 millimeter hex for these super small wheels guys but this allows us to uh Put a bunch on other wheels on this year so like the normal 140 scale ones guys so let's take a look how it will look like so you can see so these are bigger so that's perfect perfect for going into speed runs or stuff like that guys or you can put uh, very nice chewing cars wheels or stuff like that so something like these here looks super dope and that's the diameter is nearly the same like the stock wheels guys so there's no big difference in it as you can see so uh, this will be your option if you don't want to go to bash you will go only drive on the street there are tons of possibilities to upgrade to those so uh that's really super cool guys and i will do uh for sure nice upgraded as you know me guys let us do a small side by side compression with the 140 scale yeah so as you can see the 140 scale is slightly bigger yeah it's slightly wider so these are really wider the a arms the b arms so the steering rods and the rods guys these are really wider but what look really identical 
do the shock towers guys so I bet they will fit for sure the shocks can be too long but maybe we can also fit them up on there and otherwise guys so maybe we can do a mixture so the rear shock tower looks really like that from the 140 scale guys and so guys so let's take a look we have this 2845 brushes motor also in this smaller car so it's uh, lighter smaller but everything's slightly not that much as you can see guys so take a look but uh, yeah so this thing this thing here will fly with the combination of this guys and you can see underneath guys so really same bottom plate guys only smaller and as you can see really identical so w Toys did a great job to be honest guys i really love what they've done so take a look here guys so you can see the size the measurements could and i think should be the same guys but they're only slightly longer so maybe with the rods and with dog bones and the a arms and b arms from the 140 scale guys we put in on the 180 scale and it cause wider so if this will work guys it would be awesome it'll look amazing and here we have a bunch of the 180 scale metal parts from the old models guys so we will see if that will fit or most parts on the 140 scale will fit guys so first I would say let us check our A cups and B cups guys let's take a look So these should really fit maybe screws are bigger or thicker or stuff like that but you can work it out without any problem as you can see the size so I bet also the bearing should fit it fit in it if not you can take also these from the old scale model guys so let us take a look on the 140 scale model guys so as you can see this is the same it's the same size so these are totally identical so means we can take these parts from the 140 scale guys so metal parts a cups b cups if you like to change want to change it diameter everything as you can see but like I said before the arms are longer the rods are longer so if we take the longer rods and the longer dog bones I think this should work without any problem guys and for now if you don't want to make this big change guys let's look if you only want have a look but be sure these are metal and metal you always have to put Loctite in it so this is more for the look than uh, anything else guys and with this fast car I wouldn't recommend it really but if you do hard Loctite and uh, adjust them like you need to the angle and everything it will work also for sure so as you can see guys These will fit for sure and the front are really narrow so that's the smallest adjust we can do so this would be slightly longer guys so the front one wouldn't work but the rear one to the steering these can work guys for the angle so 
you can take from the old one for the steering and for the rear also guys the adjustable ruts yeah so let us put it together you can use the old ones for the a cups and b cups in metal guys these will fit you can also take them from the new ones what i suggest you guys i don't know if it's possible anymore to get these uh, metal parts to be honest guys and because these are much shorter than from the 140 scales adjustable ruts you can take these from the 180 scale but only the back one from the steering and in the rear guys so that's possible so let us take a look from the old 180 scale models the shock towers can fit guys so it looks like but they won't fit guys they're not wide enough a little bit with some work it could but why do we should do this guys from the new 140 scale guys the parts so as you can see that's how it's put it on guys so this will fit for sure guys 100% as you can see these will fit for sure the back one is wider but these are if you buy them in a set now let's take a look to the arms so guys that's what is supposed to come in as you can see these will fit for sure see these guys so these will fit yeah but these are longer as you can see not that much but a little bit i think it would look super dope to make the spur a little bit wider the a arms and b arms from the 140 scale models you don't need to take them in metal yeah to be honest if you uh don't like metal you can take the plastic parts without any problem guys so i think this will look super dope guys yeah if we take parts from the 140 scale models only the a arms and the shock toes and metal the dog bones and for sure the steering rods and the rods you need to take them you can also make a mixture from the old ones if you like to but i would suggest you to get uh these are normal plastic if you like the shock towers for sure in metal like the original ones so no problem also the a arms and b arms in metal will work with no problem instead of that better get everything uh, in plastic if you like to and uh, this thing will look dope guys so so stay tuned guys and look forward i will do a very cool thing to this car so the only thing right now guys i'm not sure 100 percent is the drivetrain this you want is from the old 180 scale models so it looks like that you could fit but i don't know if it would fit with the uh with the b rings and with the g rings and all the stuff and also it seems to me a little bit thicker but it can be that's nearly identical but for sure from the 180 scale this is much longer you know because of the chassis so uh this can't work for sure and now it's time guys to bring this thing on the street and bash it a little bit
so watch this gap guys so this is really flying like two or three meters high and for sure it's like three or four meters wide maybe more so this small car really can take a beating guys Oh my god, guys, this thing is amazing, really. Um, it's a little bit high price, to be honest, but we all know in the last time the prices for our cars went up, so and the shipping gets uh, very expensive. Anyway, guys, so if this could be a little bit cheaper, yeah, um, it's really worth the money, yeah. So the only thing uh, I first saw, it's yeah, it's like uh, from the old models, but uh, I don't have the problem that the shocks pop out easily. But it looks like, but it doesn't matter. You can see on the old models, uh, if we upgrade the shocks, uh, we can give it other screws so that it fits directly and they won't pop out. So uh, that won't be any problem, guys. It's super fast for its size, guys. Uh, we can upgrade it to metal parts and I bet there will coming more parts for this if it will step in the shoes from the old 118 scale car guys um, it's really a beast guys it makes so much fun it's so super fast um, yeah don't think this is for small kids because it's so tiny it's super fast really um, WA toys make made a good job really only other screws for the shocks I think we'll uh, fix the issue, the small issue, or other shocks, um, and a better price. This will be the best car ever. Unbelievable, guys. So anyway, guys, if you like the video, please leave a thumb up, like, share, subscribe, whatever. I will reply you guys. Stay safe out there and see you next week. Bye-bye.